Is the following function a power function, a polynomial function, both, or neither? So first thing is, what's a power and polynomial function, right? So let's take a look. All right, here's some notation. Uh, it says that a power function over here is going to be a function that is equal to some coefficient or some constant, represents a number, multiplied by a variable, multi uh, raised to then, excuse me, a positive, all right, coefficient, uh, positive power, excuse me. So it's some positive number. This k, by the way, the coefficient here could be positive or negative. That doesn't make a difference. All right. Now, a polynomial function is very, very similar. All right. A polynomial function is now basically, you can think of it like a series of power functions, kind of, you know, added together. All right. Uh, the only difference, though, is that in a polynomial function, we don't need, we can have a constant term at the end. But we do need something that looks like a power function in there, okay? We can't just have a, a constant, all right? We can have a power function basically plus a constant. That works. That'll be a polynomial function. Um, or we could have two of them with a constant. Or we don't even need the constant. It could just be this. So actually, uh, a power function could be a polynomial function, all right? If it, uh, that would be considered a monomial. Um, so... Uh, yeah, in any case, this represents again some positive or minus, uh, you know, numeric value. This represents a variable, and the power again has to be some positive number. All right. Uh, so, what we need to do is we need to figure out now whether this thing can be manipulated in any possible way so that it can match either this form or somehow match this form. So, you know, when you first look at it, obviously it doesn't, right? Now, you don't want to just stop there because you really have to think about, can I simplify this at all uh, in such a way where I can make it look like one of these two? All right, you got to think about that. Now, there really is no way to do it, all right, for this problem. There, there is no, you know, if you think about, oh, maybe I can kind of factor this, right? X, x plus 1, you know, x minus 1, right? That's over then the x squared. And then you're thinking, uh, you know, what can I do from there? Nothing really, right? I mean, there's there's basically going to be no real way to kind of get rid of, um, to, to, to any, there's no way, okay, to try. Now, how do you prove that, right? I, I mean, we can prove it, but it, it gets a little complicated. You know, you just have to trust me. Like, how, do, how can I prove that there are no unicorns out there in the world? I don't know. Have you seen one? But then you might say, well, what about on a distant planet? We don't know what life is. Maybe there's a unicorn there. And I would say, yeah, you could be right, but most likely not. But, you know, you could be right. So anyway, that gets into too much of a philosophical discussion. We're going to try to stick to math here, even though math and philosophy do, um, you know, overlap. And uh, this coffee this morning, I don't know what's in it, but um, yeah, it's definitely pretty good. So um, to sum this up, there's no way I can make this in this you know, represent either a power or a polynomial function. And therefore, the answer would be neither. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. All right, hopefully this helps. If it does, give us a hand. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your classmates. And uh, we got a lot coming, so stay tuned, all right? We got, we're developing some good stuff for you. Take care.